Praise the Lord. This is Apostle Idemo Diago Badia. Today we are going to work on breaking curses. Now there are many Christians that have been taught erroneously that a Christian cannot be subject to a curse. Well, actually, churchy um, curses, pardon me, are based on choices that we make. Even as believers, we still make choices, and certain choices have consequences. God told the people of Israel, he told the Israelites in Deuteronomy 28, he says, choose this day life or death. If they chose life, they received blessings. And if they chose death, they received curses. And the Bible tells us in Galatians 3 verse 13 that Christ came, hallelujah, to redeem us from the curse of the law. Because cursed is every man that hangeth upon a tree. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. And the same Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2 that we must work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So there are things we need to work out in our lives, especially things that came into our lives as a result of choices we made or as a result of choices others before us, like our ancestors made, or others connected to us made some cho choices that have impacted us, like soul ties. So we want to break causes today. We're going to look at that. And the power of God is going to help us today. The blood of Jesus was shed for that purpose, to set us free. Now, before we continue, it's important to understand that curses come from diverse sources. It could be a witchcraft curse, it could be an ancestral curse, that is a curse in the bloodline, and it just follows those that are in that bloodline. It could be a curse of the land, an environmental curse. An environmental curse is a curse that once you're in that environment, you cannot prosper in that environment. You have to uproot yourself from that environment to begin to enjoy the blessings of God. So there are different kinds of curses. There are psychic spells. Maybe you've been to a psychic before and she might have cast a spell on you without your knowledge. Then there are curses that come from false prophets, false prophecy. Because that is a false prophet, he has a lying spirit in him, a lying demon. The Bible calls it a spirit of divination. So the spirit of divination most times will give the prophecy and work against the prophecy. And usually when you receive prophecy from a spirit of divination, the spirit of God is not in it and the spirit of God will resist that prophecy. That could also be a curse. And then, of course, there are self-inflicted curses. Deuteronomy 28, choices we make, those are self-inflicted curses. So there's work to be done in this area, since Don't be under the erroneous impression that curses don't affect those in the body of Christ. Because so long as there's a curse, and what is a curse anyway? A curse, in simple terms, is an evil pronouncement or an evil oath that is enforced by an evil spirit. A strong man. And until that curse is broken, it remains in operation. And now, the strong man or the evil spirit is assigned to make sure that that curse is never broken. And the way to break that curse is you must do some warfare. And you must do the kind of warfare that God approves of. And the first step in breaking a curse is repentance. You can't be living a lifestyle of sin and rebellion and at the same time be asking that the curse be broken over your life. And sometimes you will know there's a curse in your life because of repeated patterns. You see that no matter how you strive at the point of your breakthrough, it all collapses like a pack of cards. So there are certain patterns that would occur in your life that would give you the hint that a curse might be in operation. And the first thing you want to do is to repent. Repent genuinely. And then ask God for forgiveness. And then you also must forgive all that sinned against you. You must forgive all, no matter the wrong they committed against you. Because why do you want to be free? Forgiveness, for, forgiveness uh, brings freedom. <laughs> it brings liberation. You know? So why put yourself in chains by your own forgiveness? And the demons want you to live in unforgiveness anyway, so that that curse would remain in effect. We're going to pray today and break every curse. My ministry is just to assist you 
to bring you, to usher you into the presence of God. My ministry is just to assist you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. I want you to say after me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent of every sin of mine. I take responsibility for my sins. I repent of my sins today and the sins of my ancestors. And I humbly ask for your forgiveness. Lord, I receive your forgiveness now in the name of Jesus. And as I have freely received forgiveness from you, I release all that have sinned against me. I forgive all, including those that maliciously wounded me, those that stabbed me in the back, betrayed my confidence. Lord, I forgive them all because I have inherited forgiveness from you. In Jesus' name, amen. That is the first step. Forgiveness is paramount. It's key. That is the first step. Now, remember we said a cross is an evil pronouncement or an evil oath that is enforced by an evil spirit. So there are some spiritual powers involved. So if we're going to break this curse, we have to deal with those spiritual powers that are involved. There are some spiritual powers that impose a limitation on lives. And a curse is a limitation. Regardless of your effort, you are limited by a curse. I want to break the curse of limitation in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to do some warfare now. I want you to be in the spirit with me. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I bring everyone here before you tonight. I bring everyone here before you, O oh God. Anyone here that is under a curse, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority you've given me in Christ Jesus, I break that curse. I break it in the name of Jesus. And I release you from every power assigned to enforce that curse over your life. I bind every evil spirit assigned to enforce an evil pronouncement against you. I bind that spirit now in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral curse, I break you in the name of Jesus. Every psychic spell, I reverse you and I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Every demonic prophetic word spoken into your spirit man, I uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every false prophecy you've been given and you've been waiting for that prophecy to manifest and come to pass. And it is a lie. It was given by a lying spirit, a spirit of divination. Today I turn it around and I cancel it in your life. Every contamination, every defilement of your spirit from that prophecy, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. By the covenant power in the blood of Jesus, let it be cancelled now in Jesus' name. Every curse that released demons against you, every curse uh, that transferred evil spirits into your life. Today, in the name of Jesus, uh, as that curse is broken, I command those spirits to begin to depart. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I command those spirits to begin to depart now. In the name of the living Jesus, I pronounce blessings over your life. You are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the field. You are blessed in your coming and you are blessed in your going. You are blessed wherever you go. You shall be from today in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that from today, your well will never run dry. Your cup will always be full. Your basket will always be full. You will eat of the fruit of the land. You will drink of the milk and honey of this land. Devil is a liar. You are unstoppable. You are immovable. In the name of Jesus. Whosoever says you will fall, that power will fall for your sake. I command that power to fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. You are climbing higher. No longer will you be minimized. No, no longer will you be limited. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every cause. Now, today is the day of your salvation. Receive the blessings of God. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Apostle Idemudia Bobadia. I'm committed to building disciples for Jesus Christ in this end time generation and delivering the oppressed. God bless.